so let's start talking spoilers. Uh, biggest spoiler, uh, let's kick this off with everybody dies in this movie. <laughs> everybody. Everybody, I'm talking about. Um, F this isn't a happy Star Wars movie. Nope. I'll say that right now. Like, we should have said that in the other review, too, to prepare <laughs> yeah. people. Like, don't... This isn't a happy-go-lucky, you know, adventure of Star Wars. This is a war movie. Yeah. So, yeah. Everybody dies at the end. Um, but I thought that made it more powerful and showed the struggle that the Rebellion goes through. And really, like, it showed something like... I know we complained about the characters weren't that memorable, yeah. but... You still felt bad when, oh, they, yeah. when they, they died at the end. Like they, you still were like you wanted them. Like no, they, the, yeah. char the characters did a really good job of recognizing that they, they did. They had that moment where they recognized that they were not going to get out of this. Yeah, and there's like this acceptance to yeah. it, which is which was refreshing. I don't yeah. think you see that in movies that much. That there was this acceptance to this, and I think that Gareth Edwards does that very well because again, back to Godzilla. As much as of a wooden plank that guy was, the lead in the movie, yeah. when he's on that ship and he's got the nuke on it and he's going out to sea and he sees Godzilla collapse, he kind of collapses too. There's like this moment of acceptance, like yeah. this is what I have to do for the better, for the common good and everything. And, you know, I like that. I think Gareth Edwards could do that very well. Um, you know, props to him on that. Yeah, in terms of... I mean, because when you talk about characters dying, you gotta talk about how it all went down. Because yeah. you, you want you want it to be effective. You want to be able to f yeah. you want to feel it. And for the most part, I thought they did a good job. I was like, I legitimately felt upset when uh, the the blind guy and the other and his friend yeah they died. You know, the the two that the two that were for their um, I was just like I was really, I was like no no no. And then when the droid died too, like that was really sad. Um, you know, pretty much when everybody died, like it's like it showed that like it showed how insignificant the rebellion really is in this movie. Like they push it, like how powerful the empire is, and I love that they made it actually difficult. That for oh the yeah, the like, this, like it wasn't just all right. We got to go down there. Yeah, and we're gonna steal it and we're sending it up. No, this yeah. was like by the skin of their teeth. Like they were handing it to people at the end of the movie, like off and off. Like okay, here, just take it, take it, take it, because our f the. Person we showed up, we showed up to watch this movie for, was axing everybody off in the end of the movie, and that was Darth Vader yeah, for sure. That was I, that 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 scene at yeah. the end of the movie surprised me. I didn't think that they were gonna do anything like that because I saw I saw some reviews before this movie, and I heard I I, I heard was not surprised though that Vader played a rather small role was only in a few scenes. I was expecting that. Like, yeah, I, like I was that. expecting that. Yeah, like obviously. we said, like he, some people are going to say, like, wow, he was in this a lot more than he was. And other people say, like, well, he was in it just as much as I thought he'd be. Yeah, and but I, I did hear that he was going to do something emotionally satisfying at, mm -hmm. for Star Wars fans. And there was a scene where he he does force show director Krennic at one point. Yeah, that and was at that cool. point, I was uh, when I saw that, I was thinking like, okay, that was cool. The way they introduced Darth Vader, Ooh, by the way, yeah. like you just see his shadow and hear his breathing, and then you just see him walking up through the smoke. Yeah, that was amazing, and it, it takes place on Mustafar too, which is like even yeah. even cool. That was like that was a good thing about this movie is that they didn't ignore the Clone Wars or no, like the know. prequels. They they take it. They say like you know they. Bail Organa's in the movie, and he makes reprises the same guy who played him in Episode Three and the, the whole prequels. He straight up says, "He goes, there's a man I knew during the Clone Wars, yeah. General Kenobi on Tatooine, and I know I can trust him. We need yeah, to find him." Those were the references and the uh, fan, so-called so fan service moments that I did enjoy because they made sense and they added they added to the story. Whereas instead of just having characters just pop up, yeah, like like, the, like, the, like when they had a. The, the two guys from the cantina in the first Star Wars movie pop up on the planet, which doesn't make... On the, the planet where they're, they're taking the crystals, where the Saw guy is and everything. Yeah. That didn't make any sense to me because it's like, they blew up the city right after, so I'm just like, wait, those guys would be dead because I don't think that they would have left. Yeah, I mean, the only way they survive is if you assume they They left, left but, like, they, like... The rebels escape by the skin of their teeth. Yeah, like, they, yeah. like they barely made it out, so what makes you think these guys were just yeah. suddenly... Yeah. Uh, Peter Cushing. Uh, I love I love this part of the movie. <laughs> yeah, they Grand Moff Tarkin comes back in the movie, which is I did not know that was. Happening. I didn't know. I thought he was like when I saw him, I was like, because you just see right from behind, like that's Grand Moff Tarkin. I was like, 
and you just see the back of his head and you see kind of like his reflection, reflection yeah. very faintly in the window. You're like, okay, that's all you're going to see of him. Then he turns around. You straight up to see Peter Cushing. Like, it, it catches you off guard. And then, you know, he starts talking like, like, his voice didn't match, and, like, yeah, his performance was, like, you could tell, like, maybe it was somebody else playing him. Yeah, but, the, the, but he still had those, he still had those, uh, those, those cheek moments. Bones. Those che the cheekbones. The cheekbones. Yes, the, those cheekbones. He had the cheekbones, and he still, yeah. he still had his moments that call, were callbacks to episode He four. was intimidating, too. Even yes. though it was, like, you could tell it was kind of computer and everything, he was still intimidating, and he commanded a presence that I really just... I loved. Yeah, you know? I, when he had his fire when ready moment. Oh yeah, you made fire really, when ready. I enjoyed that because yeah. the people that say it didn't sound like him, he sounded perfect when yeah, he when said, he that, said line. that. When he said certain lines, yeah, he did. But that's what I was saying. Like, it would have been great if we had like a stronger villain like Thrawn for the movie because there's <laughs> a real pushback between what's his name? Uh, oh, director Krennic. Yeah, between Krennic and 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 uh, Tarkin in this movie, there's a real struggle for, for power between these yeah. two. And I felt like if you had a character like Thrawn, that would have been such a great uh, pushback. Because like I said, Krennic just, he was okay. He wasn't my favorite, though. He wasn't that interesting to me. For, for a Star Wars bad guy, because I feel like we really haven't gotten a great Star Wars bad guy in a long time, other than Kylo Ren. Yeah, I really... And even then, he was kind of a whiner. But I still, <laughs> I still liked him. I still thought he was great. He yeah, was one of the best I, parts of The Force Awakens. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, yeah. Even, yeah, even though like you could say, like, he... Wine, because he's still. I mean, he still is a young kid. Yeah, that's, that's what. That's what. That was. That was the great twist about him. That he's not like this, like Darth Vader, this guy behind the mask. He's just a young, kind of lost kid. And it, but they were still able to make him menacing. Yeah. And yeah. When he so. had to be. Yeah. Grab, having Tarkin in this to me was. was yeah. I'm, I'm glad they did it because one, like I said, I wasn't thrilled with the way Director Krennic turned out. I thought yeah. he was okay. Did a solid job, but having. Tarkin show up was a great surprise for me because I I, yeah. I I had zero idea he was going to be in this. Yeah, neither did I. And it was also nice that, you know, you see a lot of characters that, like, they CG'd them on, like, a lot of the pilots from Episode Four. Um, they get CG'd and put into, the, like, the cockpits of the fighters in this movie, which was really cool. You see a lot of the char those characters pop up. And they did a really good job. And then Princess Leia at the yeah. end... Uh, they show her for, like, a split second. That was very, that was very well done. That was great. Um... Yeah, you could tell it's card. Like that, she didn't look as good as Tarkin did. I thought she. That yeah. was, like I could tell. Like that looks like a video game, but it still looks really good. It's still very impressive. Yeah, my favorite part of the movie is just when is is the end. Not just because of Vader, but just yeah. when it's all wrapping up. The, this it, movie, it did what Episode Three wanted to do, and it just goes like I didn't expect them to do this, but they go straight from this movie. Right into the beginning of episode four, like right in the be like the, yeah. you know they throw everybody onto the the blockade runner, like here's the plans, let's go. Yeah. And then you just see it right there where the the star destroyers going after him and everything. Like when it that was, it was great. When that was all going down, that's when I started fanboying. I was just like, oh man. yeah, like that <laughs> I was. was getting, that, I was getting excited. Yeah, that was great. Like the whole third act was great. Um, yeah. You know, if you get bored or you don't like it up until the third act, like I get it. Like it wasn't. I just Too impressive. I enjoyed most of the movie, but I completely, I completely understand if it if, if it doesn't appeal to everybody. Yeah, I like I, I get it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I really, yeah, like the, the callbacks were great for for hardcore Star Wars fans. There was enough action in it for for regular for casual Star Wars fans. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I really did. I loved yeah. seeing the technology. I loved seeing that there is, uh, you know, the rebellion was really interesting. And I just loved how this movie just made the rebellion feel so insignificant. Like the tension at the end of this movie, uh, like you know, like even though this this shows how good the the tension was at the end, the third act, is that you know that they're gonna get the plans of the Death Star yeah. and everything. You know they're gonna do all that, but they still made it feel just so like you were on the edge of their of your seat the entire time. Yeah. Because like you know it's gonna happen, but, but by just, God, the way they did it. <laughs> They just over they just overcame so yeah. many because like you're odds. gasping like <gasps> you know like you just see like they just barely barely get these plans to Princess Leia like literally that they're handing it off to other people like I was saying as Darth Vader's in the back just slaughtering people and the best scene in the movie just that scene of Vader just standing over with his cape blowing and it's like you just see the fury as he's gripping his lightsaber and they're flying away with those plans. All I can yeah. say, all I can say is, whenever I watch the beginning of uh, A New Hope, 
Yeah. I'm not going to look at it the same. Oh, no, 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 no. You're going to see, like, you know, everything that happened. Um, yeah, so overall, like, you know, we said, like, the movie's good. Good movie. It's, uh, yeah, like, we just talked about all the things that we really loved about it uh, here in the spoiler talk. Um, mm -hmm. You know, like I said, they shot themselves in the foot with a couple things. You know, some things didn't make sense. But other than that, um, yeah, mm -hmm. it was a solid, yeah. solid movie. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a good... It's a it's a good addition to the Star Wars franchise. Yeah, and it's the best. Like I said, the best part of it is is what it's going to add to the backstory of a New Hope. That's yeah. that's that's what I love about it most. It's just every time I watch New Hope, I'm gonna I'm gonna know how yeah. everything went down. That's what I really like about it. But again, don't push it, Disney. Yeah, um, don't overdo this and explain everything because I still want some mystery to it all. Yes, yeah, for sure. So just don't do that. But you know. I'd be down to see maybe a Clone Wars movie yeah, or something. something like, like under, that. something like that. Yeah, under, okay. like, a good direction. Like, just movies that, like, <sighs> movies that, like, don't explain stuff that happened in the older movies. Just, like, just stories. Like, an anthology story that's supposed to be just stories in the Star Wars universe <laughs> would be great. These you know? are these are the stories that worry me as far as pushing Star Wars films. When, they, yeah. when people want to bring up uh, the idea of Obi Wan having his own solo film, which, yeah. in my opinion, sounds like a good idea. Because hey, he's one of those characters I feel like I'd like to see more expanded upon. Because I didn't feel like we got that in the prequels as much as we could. Yeah, then the part that scares me is when I start hearing Obi Wan trilogy. Yeah, that just would, like that's what bothers uh, me about Disney right now is that they are planning sequels before they've even made the first. Yeah, I'm just um, like that shows a little bit of cockiness, which, to be fair, like, when was the last time Disney's had, like, a, given us a bad movie I since mean, they got Marvel and Star Wars? They, they, I mean, they've, they've, earned, yeah. they've earned their right to be confident. Yeah, I mean, I think, like, the worst that they could say is probably, like, cars. Yeah, the, pro the problem is, when I, I hope they realize this, Star Wars is not... So it's, it's different from it's, other movies. Yeah, it's it's an event. It's not one of those franchises. It's like it's one of those franchises that needs to end yeah. at a point. Like it's, after this trilogy, no it's more. It's not like Marvel. Yeah. You can like Marvel films. Yeah, you, can, you can keep going. Comic you know? books have gone forever. They reboot yeah. like every like ten, twenty years. Um, now that's like, so all they do is reboot in the comics because uh, that's a new thing now. But you know, Star Wars is one of those franchises. You gotta kind of like you know let it go. Like it's not like Star Trek or or any of those ones that like. Where the characters, you know, those characters, like, you know, comparing Star Trek to Star Wars, because there's so many Star Trek movies compared to Star Wars movies, I think that the characters um, in Star Trek, um, there's something about them, like, you feel like you can keep, you can keep going with these characters. Oh, yeah. Like, their stories just, like, feel like they're... Because like, it's, it's just a setup of Star Trek, you know, you can, you know, they're traveling in space, and it's just their adventures of what they've come across, like, it's just this infinite possibility, but with Star Wars, it's, I think, I feel like it's more, like, refined to, like, you know, each person has a quest, Yeah. and eventually that quest has to end, you know, so, like, that's yeah. why I feel like Star Wars is something that, like, shouldn't be after this third trilogy, because, like, I think, it, I think it needs to stop. Yeah, I'm hearing yeah. talks of, oh, oh, here comes episode 10, 11, 12. No, no, I don't want to see, no. I, I don't want to see a fourth trilogy. I do not. The only reason I was on board with this in the first place when they said, like, we're going to make another trilogy, I was like, okay, the prequels suck, so let's get, let's, 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 end, let's, let's them end Star Wars on a, pro, on a positive note. Yeah. And, yeah, like, just, and I'm, I want to see EU movies and everything, but... Um, as far as a Star Wars movie every year, I'm not into that. I yeah. would more like to see it all spread out. Yeah, I, I just, I want it, I, I, there's nothing better than going to see a Star Wars movie in theaters, and I want to have that feeling yeah. for episode 8 and 9. And I want a goddamn opening crawl. <laughs> yeah, that was... I can't emphasize how much that actually bothered way more than I expected. You, didn't, you don't realize how important it is until it, like, it wasn't there. It just, but... it sets the mood... You know, and you don't realize it how much you miss it until it's like, even every video game has it every video I know game. Lego Star Wars has a crawl I mean that's you know uh, anyway we're rambling on it right now but I again yeah it's a good movie yeah um, great moments in it you know great looking movie you can tell that Gareth Edwards if you've seen Gareth Edwards Godzilla movie um, I think you can tell that he directed this yeah for sure um, and that's not a bad thing 
for the most part. Like, yeah. there's just a few things. Just think about what you saw from Godzilla, and you're probably you're probably gonna leave this movie feeling yeah. pretty much the same way. With better characters. Oh, I, mean, I feel like he got oh, a the characters bit, were better. I feel like he got a little bit better about, about directing the characters. I don't feel like that was so much. Uh, you know, I feel like he kind of they weren't as boring. You know, as, yeah. as, as a guy in Godzilla, so I feel like that 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 really helped this movie. So yeah, I mean that's. That's it for us. Um, yep. As always, if you like to see, go and hit subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. Um, you can check out uh, Joseph's channel, uh, Hoop Studio. I'll put the link for that in the description below. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey.